The parallel input or parallel load shift registers works on the principle whereby we've got multiple flip-flops and they're all receiving the input data. Each flip-flop receives the input data at the same time and then it gets shifted to the next data or to the next flip-flop. Now because of the difference between the shift and the load there must be a selector which will enable the flip-flops to either shift or load the data that's been given. The parallel input serial output shift register. In red over here we've got the shift option. So if we apply a logic one on the input then it'll enable all the red AND gates and then each time a clock pulse is introduced the data will flow through the shift option. The moment I apply a zero on this input that will disable all the red AND gates and it will enable the blue AND gates. So all the inputs that are now inserted on these inputs will go to the D type. Once it's loaded we can then uh, 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 put a 1 on the shift and then with each clock pulse it will go through to the next flip-flop until we get a serial output. Let's transfer let's transfer the one zero one one sorry one zero one zero input. Let's transfer that in the parallel in serial out. Those bits are the parallel input. We're going to convert them into a serial output. When I apply that information I need to apply a zero on the input over there. That will force all my shift ands to become disabled and that will put a 1 on my enable for the loading. That 1 automatically transfers to that flip-flops D input that 0 and that 1 will give me a 0 on that OR which will give me a 0 on that input. That 1 and that 1 will give me a 1 over there which will give me a 1 over there and that 0 and that 1 will give me a 0 over there which gives me a 0 over there. Now when I introduce when I put this back in there or put a 1 on there then I'm putting this into the shift mode. So now I'm free to look over here that 1 turns that into a 1, turns that into a 0 which disables that AND, puts a 1 over there, puts a 0 over there which disables this one, it puts a 1 over there, puts a 0 over there, enable, disable. So when I receive the clock pulse, this 1 or this 0 which is fed in there moves to my data output clock pulse moves this one to that side, that one and that one enables there, that turns to a one which means now I've got a one on that entire bit there. That zero transfers to the output, that zero and that one gives me a zero over there making that entire branch a zero. Pulse over there puts a 1 on the output, that 1 
and that one gives me a 1 on the input for that flip-flop. When I receive the next pulse, that 1 over there, sorry, that was a 0. That was a 0. When I receive the next clock pulse, that 1 travels to the output over there. That zero travels to that output over there, which turns this entire branch into a zero. That one travels to the output over there, which makes this entire branch a one. And that one that input, whatever that it's been changed to, will now move to the output. So that will remain a 1. With the next pulse, that 0 travels to the output. That 1 travels to that output, which makes that entire branch a logic 1. That 1, sorry, that 1 over there travels to the output over there, which makes that entire branch A1 and that one over there travels through and makes that entire branch a number 1. So with the next pulse with the next pulse that one on the output travels to the output there that one travels to the output there making that entire branch a 1 that one travels that one travels to the output there that makes that entire branch a one and that one travels to the output there making that entire branch a one so what happens now is after the four pulses my one zero one zero has now been transferred to the output over there now you will have a count Sorry, you will have a counter system that is active somewhere that will keep track of the number of pulses and then after every fourth pulse it will put the system into the, sh the load state so that we can load the new bits into our shift register.